everybody, it's Kelsey Cullen, Community Outreach Coordinator here at Stocks and Burger College in uh, Brexville. I'm here again with Dr. Danya Linehan. She is the Program Chair for the Animal Welfare Management Program. Thanks for coming out again, Danya. Absolutely. Deja vu all over again. <laughs> here we are in the library. <laughs> I know. Here we are. This is great. So much learning happens here. Um, but uh, anyhow, so today we're going to talk about a few things. Uh, we're going to talk about the differences between pursuing a diploma and an associate degree, specifically in the Animal Welfare Management Program. Um, you know, so how that can influence a student after graduation too. Um, and then we're also going to talk about, you know, what people can do in their everyday lives to inject a little bit of animal welfare wherever they go. Um, so let's start with the first topic, you know, Dinah, maybe you can shed some light on this. In the program, what are the differences between, you know, just doing the diploma end of things and then also doing the associate degree? Okay, so everybody's going to start out with the diploma part. And in the diploma part, you've got 10 months of instruction and you get what you would expect to get out of an animal welfare management program. So we're gonna be talking about some basics of animal anatomy and physiology. We're gonna look at disease and husbandry of all different kinds of animals. We're gonna talk a lot about behavior training and enrichment because that's such a huge part of any piece of the animal field is learning animal behavior. You don't get as much of the people side in the diploma as you do in the degree, but we throw some of it in there. So you're going to get a look at something that I think is really important called humane education. And that's about going out into schools and out into the community and talking to people about essentially how to be kind, not only to animals, but to your environment, how to conserve, how to do good in the world. If we're not getting to the kids, then we're not going to build a society of kindness. So humane education is something that the diploma kids get as well as the degree kids. They also get what I think is really important for any college student, some strategies for success courses. So they're learning a little bit about College 101, how to study effectively, what their learning styles are so that they can study best for their own brain, how to manage some life skills, which we could probably all use, time management skills, and uh, professionalism. So they all get that even in the, the diploma side. Now into the degree side, and I'm not, I'm not going through the whole thing because that would take like two hours. Um, in the degree side, we're going to get more into the general education classes. So there they're going to get a little bit more college math, college biology, some history and civics that ties into this because so much of what we do now in the animal world involves animal law, uh, whether we like it or not. They're going to get a, an ethics class. Now they get a little bit of animal welfare and ethics in the diploma side as well. They'll delve more into ethics in the degree side. And they also get public uh, relations and fundraising, which is an enormous part, especially for any of our kids to go into shelters or the nonprofits. So that's a quick look at the two. One thing I want to mention is that every student who enters gets the externship. We've moved the externship with our program revision into the diploma side so that they all go out into the field and have at least 100 hours in their desired part of the field as part of their program. So that's the short story. Okay, yeah, I can definitely, you know, see the value in that. So would you say that, you know, maybe an associate degree student is a little bit more well-rounded? Yes, and I would say that everyone who comes into this pretty much comes in because they love animals. Mm -hmm. And everyone who's applying for a job at a shelter, a sanctuary, a zoo, uh, even an, an animal hospital, although this isn't a vet tech degree, these guys often work at animal hospitals as well, they all love animals. What the hard part is, is to get them to love the business and the paperwork and the communications mm -hmm. and the fundraising and the grant writing and things that are more the business and people side. So I think the whole program addresses that, but certainly going on to the associate's degree it will address it in much more detail. And also both some students and some employers really like to see that degree, the associate's degree part of it, over simply a diploma. Okay, so that's kind of how it comes into play after graduation. Sure. So, like the employers, you know, see that, and you know, what do you, what would you say they think? You know, that's a good question. I guess part of what they're going to think, other than looking at the material, mm -hmm. looking what the students have been exposed to academically, that's different and that's broader. It shows uh, perhaps a different level of commitment. Oh, stick sure. to itiveness that these guys stayed in it for the long haul because it's pretty easy after you get one. Um, certification, if you will. You get your diploma, congratulations, off you go. Mm -hmm. It's easy to leave it at that and not come back into the um, 
into the wonder that is academics here at Gothenburg College and go on for more schooling. I know from personal experience, it's a little tough once you've graduated and now you might get a full night's sleep every once in a while to dive back into school. It's not the easiest thing in the world. Right, um, so how long is the diploma program? The diploma program itself is 10 months. Okay. And then the degree adds another seven months to that. Okay, so 17 months total, still less than a year and a half. Right. So not too shabby, I would say. I agree. Um, it's packed though. I mean, these guys have to be prepared to come in and work hard because mm -hmm. it's packed with material. It's packed with information. It's, mm -hmm. It moves fast, it's accelerated. Um, it's not for the weak. <laughs> yeah, but at the same time, you know, if someone is passionate about it, yes. then they'll be able to do that no problem, right? That's our hope is, yeah. you know, that your passion and your drive um, pulls you through, mm -hmm. you know, and I really encourage students and we've got great career services folks to help them out with this. I really encourage students to work in the field in some capacity or another, even if it's just as a volunteer, while they're going through the program because I think that keeps the motivation alive, I think it keeps their passion alive, and it's so much easier then to relate what you're learning in these classes, what you're reading, what you're studying, you're relating it to cases in your real life, and it, it makes it, I think, much more valuable, and I think it helps it stick in your brain when you've got an actual case, an actual mm -hmm. client, an actual animal that you can tie your academic learning to. Yeah, that definitely makes a lot of sense to me. World. Um, so if you have a big heart for animals and you have some questions that maybe we didn't cover today, um, please give us a call. You can reach us at 440-838-1999. Um, and uh, we will see you next time. Thanks, Dr. Danya. Thank you, everybody. Spay and neuter. <laughs>